Hi, I'm Randall Strassen, president of IronMind, Grip Central since 1988, along with Eric Oxenball. We're here to introduce you to Captains of Crush Grippers. Captains of Crush are the gold standard of grippers. They are known worldwide for their durability, precision, and beauty, and for being the fastest route to a stronger grip. All Captains of Crush Grippers feature proprietary GR8 springs and aircraft-grade aluminum handles. The words Captains of Crush are stamped in the clear band mid-handle, and the abbreviation COC and the model are stamped at the ends of the handles. All 11 COC grippers are the same world-class quality. The only difference is how hard they are to close. IronMind introduced its three original models in 1990, the number one, number two, and number three. Just to give you an idea of how tough the Captains of Crush number one is, most guys do lift weights cannot close it the first time they try. By the way, IronMind thinks that active guys who use their grip at work or in their sport should get strong enough to close a Captains of Crush number one gripper for about 10 legitimate reps. Now let's move into more serious territory. You have to have extraordinary grip strength to close the Captains of Crush number two gripper. If your life or someone else's depends on your grip, IronMind recommends that you develop the strength to conquer this gripper. Closing the COC number three gripper under official conditions is the most widely recognized, highly respected feat of grip strength in the world. IronMind created a certification program in 1991 to recognize men who had done this, and Richard Soren was the first person to achieve this feat. Getting certified in the Captains of Crush number three gripper means you have world-class grip and you could, for example, crush a raw potato in your bare hands. A lot of guys had trouble starting at the level of the COC number one. So in 1992, Iron Mind came out with the COC trainer. Easier than the number one, the trainer is the place to start for average guys who are serious about grip. It's definitely tougher than any plastic handle gripper you're likely to find at a sporting goods store. If you are ready for some serious grip work, grab the trainer. This is not a wimpy gripper. Now if you have been training your grip already, or you use your hands on your job, or maybe you're known for having strong hands, start with the number one. At the other end of the spectrum, IronMind wanted to raise the bar and give guys an even tougher challenge for certification. So in 1994, we introduced the fearsome Captains of Crush number four gripper. It's the ultimate test of crushing strength, the gripper you've seen on the front page of the Wall Street Journal. Trying to close it feels like squeezing a brick. Only five men in the world have succeeded in officially closing the Captains of Crush number four gripper. Joe Kinney was the first, and World's Strongest Man winner Magnus Samuelson the last. And that was 10 years ago. Check out Magnus Samuelson crushing the number four on YouTube if you need some inspiration. Because the trainer is still pretty tough, IronMind wanted to make Captains of Crush Grippers accessible to even more people. So in 2004, we added the guide in the sport. The guide is roughly as difficult to close as a plastic handle gripper from your local sporting goods store, but with the same world-class quality as other COC grippers. If you are rehabbing an injury, or you are a youth, a woman, or a senior, this is the easiest COC gripper and a good place to start. Plus, you can always use it as a warm-up gripper, no matter how strong you get. One notch up is a sport. If you need some light warm-ups, or you are a high school athlete, or a weekend warrior, or you are a woman who has done some strength training, start with the sport. Most people think of the Captains of Crush trainer number one, number two, number three, and number four as the benchmark COC grippers you'll want to focus your training at these levels. But some people have trouble moving straight from one of these Captains of Crush Grippers to the next. So in 2006, Iron Mind introduced the COC Bridge Grippers, which are halfway in between. The .5, halfway between the trainer and the number one. The number 1.5, halfway between the number one and the number two. The number 2.5, halfway between the number two and the number three. And the number 3.5 halfway between the number three and the number four. There you have it, the Captains of Crush Grippers, 11 models for maximum grip strength and minimum time. This is a COC gripper that's perfect for you. And guys, if you have it in you, you can get certified in the Captains of Crush number three, number 3.5, and number four grippers, and your name will go on the official list. The rules for certification are on the Iron Mind website, and you can email us when you're ready. And for women, it's the Captains of Crush number two and number 2.5. To date, three women have been certified on the COC number two, and the question is, who will be the first on the COC number 2.5? Any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. We hope you enjoyed the video.